our driver's name, Sergio. My name is Leo. L E O. Fasten seatbelts if it's possible, please. Thank you. Well, we are directly beside the old city center of Barcelona. So now we take immediately this white colored bridge. The name of the bridge is Europe. And this where and along the bridge we arrive immediately in the old city center of Barcelona. But we start with a panoramic drive around the old city. Later on, in the new grid city, yeah, new, that's relative, because that's the part of the city constructed around the medieval city between 1859 and 1910. And over there we will see some world heritage sites. Uh, everything that's world heritage site in our, in our city, it's Art Nouveau, Catalan Art Nouveau, the name is Modernism. But first Barcelona. Barcelona is a small city, it's in fact the set second city of Spain after Madrid. At the moment we have only 1,750,000 citizens remaining in the city. In the year 1970 we had more than 2,2 millions of people living here. In this very small city, I tell it very clear, very small because the city is locked up in between the Mediterranean Sea and a mountain that surrounds the whole city. So there's no way to extend the city. Yes, in fact, there's one way to extend the city. That over here, where we are now, the Catalans, they took the example from the Dutch people. Every time, more and more artificial islands in the Mediterranean Sea. Everything that you can see now, it's everything that we took away from that Mediterranean Sea. Here at our right hand side, you can see one of the most expensive hotels of our city, Hotel W, five stars Grand Lux, uh, 111, 111 meter tall, magic number that we use often in this city. At our right, the old harbor, at our left, the new modern cruise harbor, and at the back, we have the industrial harbor going another 10 miles further away until the airport. The most important thing. It's a pity we almost can't see the city now. If you take a look at our right in front of us, over there you can see the mountain. And on that mountain there's a small little church. That's the summit of our city. It's 525 meter. That means more or less 1,600 feet. The past winter we received six times snow over there. And this year is exceptional over here, all over Catalonia. We never, I'm living here since 35 years, we never received that much rain as the past season. It's almost always raining. And today it's not raining that much. But just a week ago we received only in two days water that we receive normally in half a year. Okay, so exceptional. Lots of water and because of that everything is green over here. Um, might have to do with the climate that's changing because this year it's exceptional wet around the Mediterranean Sea where it's normally dry and inside Europe, in the center of Europe, Germany, Belgium, over there, it's exceptional dry, okay? So something is happening, but okay, that's not our problem today. I hope it won't rain anymore once we arrive in the old city center and we start with our walking tour. Okay, I told you. A small city, the surface is a hundred square kilometer, but the locals, they are living on only a 60 square kilometer. That means more or less a 20, 22 square miles, to have an idea, okay? So, a dense city, and we can never speak alone from Barcelona, because directly beside the city, you will find the second, the third, and even the fourth cities of Catalonia. Barcelona with a metropolitan area, has more or less a 4,2 million of people living here. That means 60% from all the Catalan people. Shuttle coaches, shuttle bus. The last shuttle this afternoon at 4 o'clock. And they are leaving here at our right hand side. Look over here. This iron tower. This iron tower is over here for a cable car. A wonderful touristic attraction and the last shuttle is leaving there at four o'clock if there are people who would love to stay in the old city center once i finish my walking tour over there okay 
It's quite easy. We are now already beside the old city. We just left the harbor uh, through this monument. This monument represents the waves of the Mediterranean Sea, dedicated to all the workers in our harbor. Industrial harbor, cruise harbor, the little fisher harbor, not that important, and the harbor for the lines of time. Here at our left hand side, the only remaining is from our medieval wall. Only a 200 meter left. And now, at our left hand side, the Maritime Museum. But these were the former medieval king's shipyards, constructed at the end of the 13th century, more than 700 years old. In it, you can find the ship from Christopher Columbus, although it's only a copy, it's not the original one. It's the Saint Mary. Christopher Columbus left Spain in 1492. He arrived in the Dominican Republic, in fact, in America at the 12th of October, 1492. He thought that he arrived in India, okay? India, there he picked up presents for all, for his, the people who paid his travel, the first kings of Spain, okay? The first kings of Spain. And so, the first kings of Spain were Isabel and Ferdinand. You can see them here at your left hand side. Please take a look. This monument is over here since 1888, when our city Barcelona organized the first World Fair of Spain. Above it, up on top, on this monument, Christopher Columbus. Quite easy. Pointing out to your ship, to the Viking. Look at that. He's pointing out to your ship. So if you lost your ship, it's quite easy. Watch Christopher Columbus. He's pointing out to our Viking sky. At our right hand side, ladies and gentlemen, the most important avenue in the old city center. This is our famous Ramblas, the Ramblas from Barcelona. It's only a little bit more than half a mile from here until the Catalonian Square. The Catalonian Square is in fact the connection between our old city and the new grid city. Later on, we start with our walking tour on the Catalonian Square. And also, Christopher Columbus, very important for this city because after his first travel to India, when he came back with his presents like potatoes and tropical fruits and six wild Indians, Okay, very important. Then he arrived in this city, because at that time, the first kings of Spain were living in the King's Palace from Barcelona. I will show you later on our King's Palace, beside the cathedral. Okay, at that time, the, two, the power was only in two hands, the kings and the bishops. Okay, so they were living beside each other. Christopher Columbus came back over here with his presence, because the first kings of Spain, living in our king's palace, they paid the travel, they gave Christopher Columbus three ships, they gave him people to work with, etc, etc. So, Christopher Columbus arrived in March 1493 in Lisbon, over there he heard that the kings were living in the king's palace from Barcelona, so then he sailed all around the Iberian Peninsula to arrive here in April 1493. Everything is explained in this monument. Over there you can see the kings, Christopher Columbus, and the six wild Indians. Big problem for our kings, because they were Catholic kings. No wild people were allowed in their king's palace. So what did they do with that poor six wild Indians? Our kings, they spoke with the bishop, their best friends. The bishop received the order the order to baptize them. Once baptized in our cathedral, no more problem. Then they could enter in our king's palace. Just three months ago, I received a visit from the bishop from Orange County in the, in the States and from Los Angeles. Both of them with their choirs, all together, more or less 140 persons. Huh? And they came over here to this city, to Barcelona, to do the main mass religious service on Sunday morning, together with the bishop from Barcelona. And that was dedicated to the first Americans ever baptized on the world. 
that were then six wild Indians from Christopher Columbus, and it was in our cathedral. At our left hand side, the oldest part from Barcelona, the Gothic Quarter. Inside the Gothic Quarter, we have the Roman city, founded in the year 217 BC. Our short walking tour will be basically in that Roman city. The Roman city is still the center of our city, Barcelona. They were right inside the old harbor, and here's some monuments. Look here, they were right, the Smiling Lobster. The Smiling Lobster. Over here since 1992, when we changed the whole city. I'm not a Spaniard, but I'm living here since 1983. At that time, 1983, we didn't receive any visitors in our city. Barcelona was still a grey industrial city, locked up, locked up, no way to go to the sea, because we didn't have beaches at that time. All our beaches were still occupied by the first factories, Everton's were the first in constructing factories, so this was the main industrial city, and it is still the first industrial city of Europe, although that now since 1992, all the industry is out of the city. At our white, right, our smiling lady. Look here, this is our smiling lady. We saw the smiling lobster, and this is the smiling lady. That's a wonderful work done by your famous America's American artist, Roy Lichtenstein. But he found his inspiration in Juan Miró and in Antonio Gaudí. Antonio Gaudí, one of the two genius that were living here a hundred years ago. Seven works from Antonio Gaudi in our city, our world heritage site of the UNESCO. Our second genius, 120 years ago, no, 130 years ago already, 125 years ago to be exact, was studying here at our left hand side, on the second floor. Here in this building on the second floor, there was at that time the Academy of Fine Arts. And this young guy was named Pablo Ruiz. Pablo Ruiz started his studies with only 13 years old, although that you should be 16 years old. He finished his studies with 15 years old, because then he was much, much better than all our professors together. Then you're a genius. Pablo Ruiz became the best artist of the 20th century. His mother's name, Maria Picasso, okay? In my opinion, the most important museum. Over here at the left-hand side, look, the wonderful medieval city. In that small, narrow street over there, you arrive at our Pablo Ruiz Picasso Museum. Today, it's Monday. That means it's closed. But when you come back in our city within 10 days or so, then you might have the occasion to visit our Pablo Ruiz Picasso Museum. And my opinion, that's personal, the best museum in our city, okay? There are more than uh, 3,000 works from Pablo Picasso in our museum over here, so perfect. Well done. Basically, his childhood, his blue period, rose period, a little bit of uh, cubism. He started, in fact, with the cubism in our city, and then later on, his older times, his older years, that you can find back in this museum. It's a pity it's not the first visited museum in our city. It's really a pity. Nowadays, most of our visitors, and also the locals, they are not interested in culture anymore. Any idea what's our most visited museum? Any idea? You have to pay three times more to visit it than to visit the Pablo Ruiz Picasso Museum. Football Club Barcelona, okay? The best football team all over the world. But over there you have to pay an entrance fee of 28 euro. Our Pablo Ruiz Picasso Museum, it's only 11 euros to visit it. At our right, now, beside us, the first green park of our city. The name of this park, Park La Ciutadella. Ciutadella is a Catalan word. 
The main language, the first language spoken here by, by all the Catalan people is the Catalan language. The second language spoken over here is the Castilian language. All our citizens speak both languages. First Catalan, second Castilian. Castilian language is what you know as the Spanish language. But for the Spanish people, there is no Spanish language, okay? We speak four different languages all over Spain. Catalan, Castilian, Gallego, and Basque. Everything that you see at our right hand side is wonderful green park that was in fact medieval city. What happened here? The king in Spain, the end of the 18th century, 17th century, he died, he died without any children. So we didn't have a new king. And then there started the war, the war of succession. The war of succession when the former kingdom from Catalonia and Aragon choose for the kings from the Habsburgers, Austria and Hungary. The Bourbons, the French king's house, they didn't agree. And so then they started the war, the war of succession, 14 years. Our city Barcelona was surrounded by the French troops, uh, the French king's house, during more than 12 years until they picked in our city. Please take a look at your left hand side. Look over there. Our wonderful, beautiful Arch of Triumph. The only Arch of Triumph all over Europe not constructed for a war. Okay? This is the only one. Not like in Berlin, Paris, uh, Rome. Madrid, they were all constructed for a war. This one was just constructed as the main entrance gate to visit the first World Fair, a universal exhibition organized in Spain. And where did we organize that? Here, at our right hand side, in this wonderful green park. But I told you, this was medieval city. Once the French troops, the Bourbons, and think about, please, our king, Juan Car our former king, Juan Carlos, and his son, now our new king, Philip the Sixth one, they are still Bourbons. That never changed, okay? That's still the same history, okay? They, the French troops, picked in our city, the 11th of September, 1714, and then 20% of the citizens were obliged to demolish their own houses with their own hands. And then the French troops, the Bourbons, they constructed over here, in this area, in this green park, they constructed the biggest citadel all over Europe. A citadel is a French word. It's a military fortress, okay? So over here, they constructed the biggest military fortress to control our city. And not just the military fortress, also a military wall around the medieval wall. And all the education was forbidden. All our universities were demolished. And our language, the Catalan language, was forbidden during the next 180 years. So 180 years that was completely forbidden in public to use your own language. Everybody had to use the Castilian language, what you know as the Spanish language. But then, 1859, this city started the construction of a new city around the old city, and then um, they demolished the city council, demolished this fortress, and then over there, that same area, they constructed, they planted lots of trees, and that was the first green park in our city, beside the old city centre. That green park where they organized, in the year 1888, the first universal exhibition of Spain. In front of us, at our left, the two twin towers from Barcelona. In fact, the tallest skyscrapers of our city. They were constructed in the middle of our Olympic village. It was here in 1986 when the International Olympic Committee decided for this city to organize the 25th edition of the Summer Olympics. Wonderful for this city, great, exceptional for this city, ladies and gentlemen. 
1986, the political power was just in the hands of one political party. So that means the Catalan government and also the city council, the two main political institutions. So they could work very good together and the city council decided to clean up the whole city. All the factories were demolished, old factories. They opened a new industrial area at the south of our cruise harbor until the airport. And after 200 years living with our back to the Mediterranean Sea, we received our beaches back again. So 200 years without any beaches, we have more than three miles of beaches, okay? Then we received them back. And over here, look over here, we had factories, they were demolished, and over here they constructed that Olympic village. The place where that 55,000 sports people participating in the Summer Olympics has been living. So they were living here the month of August 1992. 55,000 places over here, new modern apartments that you can see at our left hand side, and in the middle, two skyscrapers. The first one over here is one of the most expensive hotels in our city, Hotel Arts, five stars Grand books. And the second building of there, the Mapfre Tower, we say it, Mapfre, that are just offices, so that's a working area. At that time, there was no limit on our skyscrapers, and so they pretended to have two skyscrapers, each of it 148 meter. 148 meter, wow, 150 between, wow, almost 517 feet, okay? But what happened, one year,